The workforce analytics report pack looks at 13 months worth of your workforce data. So who works where, any joiners, leavers, turnover statistics, um, your equality and diversity data to say what um, age bracket do people fall into, their ethnicity, disability status, religion, gender, um, and then for any leavers, if they've left, why have they left? This is all split over a series of 20 different tabs, which are a different lens on those 13 months worth of data. The idea being that if you have any requests for information based on your workforce, the answer should be in here somewhere. It's a case of navigating to the right tab. And then on each of those tabs, there are a series of input controls here up at the top so that I can apply filters on, say, category, basis, department or leaving reason so that you can narrow down on whatever data you need to and it should reduce the uh, need for creating your own bespoke reporting. If I have a look here at the workforce by structure, for example, this is showing me the company level data up at the top. So I can say at the end of November, we had this many employees. Stability shows the percentage of those who have at least one year's service. So 440 employees, 92% of whom have at least one year's service. The FTE of those is 410. And then during the month, we've had two people join the organization and three people leave, of whom three, all three of them left voluntarily. When you refresh this report, there's a prompt asking you to say, you tell me which of your leaving reasons you want to consider involuntary. That's then used in here, so I can see this many people left, this many left voluntarily, and that leads to the turnover statistics saying this many people left, so your turnover is 0.68%, and this many left voluntarily, so the voluntary turnover is the same. Finally, the salary cost over here is showing the contractual salary information. So um, if everybody just got paid their rate of pay or scale point value for the month, how much would it come to? So that's not actually what's gone through payroll. It's just the contractual salaries that are set. On the structure tab, this then gets broken down departmentally. So all those same KPIs are then broken down by org level three. And if I click on any of these departments, there's a drill down hierarchy in place. So clicking on human resources, for example, goes down to the level below. So this whole page then gets filtered just for HR. If I scroll back up to the tiles at the top, we can see that's just now for HR. And underneath, this has gone down to the level below. So these are the level fours sitting beneath the HR department. And I can keep drilling down this structure and the path that it uh, goes by is level three, then level four, level five, reporting unit, reporting manager, and then finally the employees themselves. I can remove any of those by clicking on this upwards arrow, but by using that drill down hierarchy, you can see the whole makeup of the workforce from top to bottom. At any point, I could use the drill down in uh, conjunction with my input controls at the top. So if I want to drill down by structure and by category basis type and so on, I can do. There are a few different views on here as well. So this is looking at the current completed month, but I can change that to look at either the calendar year to date, financial year to date. You can dictate when your financial year starts, either April, January or August. Month on month previous, so this month versus last month and highlight any changes. Month on month previous year to look at sort of this month versus the same month last year. Again, to highlight any differentials between the two. That's the workforce by structure. I get the same again, split by category, by basis, by type and job family. So the details up at the top of the screen remain the same because it's the same organization, it's the same time frame. What changes is how the data gets split underneath. So instead of by structure, in this case, it's by the position type. So permanent employees, fixed term employees and so on. Again, I can apply all my input filters up at the top until I get the answer I'm looking for. Once I've got to that, I can export those details as necessary, so to an Excel spreadsheet or a PDF document, and then send it to whoever has requested those details. If we have a look at the trend information, we're now looking at the 13 months 
as a whole, split month by month, in this case by department. If I scroll down, I can see that put graphically to see how the departments have changed, if they've changed over the course of the year. The measure control here defaults to headcount, but I can change it to look at joiners or leavers or turnover details over the course of the year. So switching to leavers, I see who has left, when have they left, and which departments did they leave from? And that should marry up with the turnover details for the year. I can have a look at those trend details by category, basis, type and job family again. Underneath there, we start to look at the equality and diversity details for the business. So if we have a look at headcounts again for the current month, this is then my total headcount for the organisation in November split into age brackets and the percentage that makes up of the total. So that's put down here into each of the age brackets and the percentage. On the right, this gets put graphically, so I can see at a glance how my organization is made up. And then for each of the demographic pages that we're going to have a look at, we then have a gender split as well. So I can see for the company as a whole, and then see for my male and female employees, does that marry up with the general outlook of the business? I can still filter up here by any of these departments. So if I just want to have a look at that for HR, for example, apply those filters, and then I can see how my HR department is made up in terms of age band. Same applies again for length of service, ethnicity, disability. So I can use any of these to look at all of my equality and diversity information for the company and see how is my business made up? What's the ethnic background of all of my employees? All of this comes from your live iTrend data. So obviously it relies on those fields being populated. If they're not, we'll still see the graphs, but they might have some gaps in there where they are empty. So we can see here, ethnic origin is empty. We have 53 of those. Looking down at the lever analysis, on the left, over the course of the year, we can see how many people have left in each month. And then our reasons for leaving are populated into this tag cloud. So the more people that left for that reason, the bigger and bolder the word gets. So at a glance, we can have a look and see most people have resigned, fair few career changes as well. We can see for our male and female employees why men and women have left the business. And underneath, we get all of the details to back it up. So each of our levers, we can see who they are, where they worked, who they worked for, the date that they left, the reason that they left, and then whether we have categorized that as voluntary or involuntary. If you remember, when you refresh the report, you will get to dictate which bucket these are put into. If we look at the joiners analysis, that's the same again, but the other way around. So people who are joining the company over the course of the year, whether they are male or female, and underneath the details to show these people joined and they were joining into this position, working for this manager on this date. If we need to, the employees tab in here allows us to pick a specific period or periods to have a look at the employees in question. So as we're navigating through the other pages, if we see people who don't fit into an age bracket, for example, or don't have um, an ethnic background registered against them, we can use this tab to put those details in at the top, use all of our filters as up here and say, I need to see anybody who doesn't have an age bracket. Click on OK. That filters on here, so I don't have to go digging in iTrend to find who these people are. I can find them within the report. So we can use this tab to do some spring cleaning in the system. Take this away and say, I know I need to put a date of birth against these employees because iTrend can't figure out how old they are. A very useful report to have, hopefully should save some development time for any bespoke reports. As I said, the answer for all your workforce details should be in here somewhere. It's a case of navigating to the right tab and applying the right filters. If you need any help, once this has been installed on your business objects environment, you can contact the MHR service desk and they should be able to help you.